church like church in the kitchen. Amen and amen. Praise God. One of my favorites. Amen. That's done by the Dunaways. Praise God. Church in the kitchen. Hey, I want to challenge you, whether you're listening live or by way of the archive, don't matter. Whenever you hear this challenge, let's see if you do it. Maybe you can't send $5 right now, this moment. Maybe, but you can do this. Pick up the phone, dial one 931 228 and say a prayer for us. And for those that are less fortunate. As I play the next song or two, we're going to give uh, five or so, ten minutes. Let's see. Right now. And if you're listening to the archive, whether it be three days from now, and you hear this challenge, will you do something for the kingdom of God? Will you call in right now and pray? Say a prayer. You have three minutes. But call, call twice. Call three times. Say a prayer just for those that are in need. Right now, those that are just crying out saying, hey, I need a helping hand. I need to see the love of God. I need to see. I need a little help. I need some prayer, and I need some help. Would you dial 1-931-229-0768 and just leave us a prayer? We're going to close out with prayers, as many as we can get in right now. We're going to just play them one right after the other. What better way to end a program? than praying for the needs of others. Would you call in as I play the next song or two? I'll play two songs, and we'll see how many live calls we get. Call your family. Call anybody you know up. Give them the number. Tell them. Call in. Wouldn't it be awesome to get about 50 prayers right now for those that are in need? Wouldn't that be awesome? It'd be awesome if we get 10. But you got to do your part. You see, I need you to call your whoever's up. Call your sister, your brother. Call your boss. Call your, call your landlord. Call your neighbor. Yes, wake them up even. I mean, people need to be woke up to do something for the glory of God. Give them the number, 1-931-229-0768, and tell them. Say, just, just say a prayer for those that are in need. You don't know, unless you've been there, how encouraging a prayer is when it's for you. Would you do that right now? I believe you will. Amen. Because we are blessed with, I mean, the people that listen live and the people that listen to the archives, we're blessed with prayer warriors. Amen. And if you feel led, share your testimony. Call in twice. One with a prayer, one with your testimony. And let's just let God be God. Because besides Him, there is none other. Amen. Hey, this is one of my favorites. You know I'm going to play it. I can't help it. When I have church in the kitchen, it makes me want to think about going to that muddy Mississippi. As the devil's right hand Cussed like a sailor Always looking for a fight Rumor was he stole the boy Truck at his eyes Scared the congregation One Sunday in May When he ran up to the altar And they heard Billy say Take me to the river Wash me clean Let my sins drift down to New Orleans Out into the middle Of the Gulf of Mexico Where they'll be forgotten And hit it out the door Everybody followed all the way to the shore In the back of our minds While we stood there and prayed We were waiting for the color of the water to change But it never did It was as filthy as him He popped up out of the water And he said it again Take me to the river Wash me clean Let my sins drift down to New Orleans Oh, yeah. 
Amen, amen. Praise God. That was that muddy Mississippi. Hey, we just got a phone call on my on my phone here at the house from Pastor Eddie Garrett. Amen. And uh, we were just talking about you, Pastor. <laughs> just to, Amen. We was just talking about uh, when is uh, Brother Todd Davis and Bread of Life Singers going to be there? Do you know if you got dates yes, for that? Yes, sir. This coming up Sunday. Okay, that's what we thought, and we were sharing that. Amen. We're excited about that. We're going to uh, holler at everybody and try to get them all to come and support and just get a big hug from Brother Todd. Amen. <laughs> oh, yeah, Brother Todd, a blessing. A- and you it's too, Pastor. A- and you too, Pastor. We want a hug from you. <laughs> Amen. I'd like them hugs. Amen. Well, we were just asking the people if they would say a prayer uh, for those that uh well, just need a helping hand tonight. Would would you share a prayer with those that are in need tonight? Oh, yes. Dear Heavenly Father, I come to you to see them, Father. Those ones are in need, Father. Lord, I ask you, Lord Jesus, right now, Father, Lord, that you just put your hands upon them this season, Father. Lord, and begin to touch, Father. Lord, we ask you, Lord Jesus, I know that your hand... Lord, it's a big hand, Father, Lord, and those ones is in need, Father, Lord, we ask you, Lord Jesus, right now, Lord, just look down on them, Father, and touch them, Father, and, and Lord, and make a way, Father, when it seems no way, Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray, amen. Amen and amen, praise God, amen. God's so good, ain't he, Pastor? Yes, sir. He, he's a good God. Amen. Well, now, would you share with us uh, the full name of your church and tell us where it's at and everything so those listening can uh, get a hold of that? Yes, sir. It's on um, um, my church's name is uh, Soul Filling Station Rock Church, Cookville, Tennessee. 1701 Lee 7. Lee Seminary Road. Uh, if you're familiar with Plateau Mental Health Center, you go down and it's the first road to the right. They just put a brand new uh, street light up, and it'll be the very first church on the right. Amen. Would you would you share your phone number so those could get yes, directions? Nine three one. Um. Three one zero eight seven zero zero, and my wife's number is um, nine three one two five two six four four five. Amen. So if they need, if they get close and need to call to get directions, they can get a hold of you. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen, brother. Well, now, do you have a testimony, anything you'd like to share, what time you're on the air? Well, yes, sir, i like to, well, this, well, this is a testimony. Um, the Lord has really blessed me and my wife. I know God works. Uh, we was living in a motel room, and and God moved us out of the motel room. Now we're in a house trailer, and Went to Knoxville last night and got a whole van load full of stuff, and um, and we got some stuff, some clothing in our church, brother uh, Eddie. And um, if you see anybody after Saturday uh-huh. that needs clothing, whatnots, uh, even my organ, I'm getting it out of my church. For the fact is. Yeah, go ahead and call us and let us know, and uh, we'll be glad. We'll be glad to come and, and uh, help somebody out. And um, the reason why we're doing that because we're believing that God's going to give us the church building. A guy's going to come and praise it for us, and uh, there's a guy that comes to our church. Is thinking that uh, this guy that's going to come and praise him uh, uh, may let us make him payments of the church, and it'll be uh, our church for good. Amen. Wow. Praise the Lord. Amen. 
God. So God is just blessing the Soul Filling Station Rock Church. We're, we're very, we're very, we got very few in number, but looking to expand. We're looking to expand. Amen. Wow. Uh, we're looking for people that nobody else don't want, Brother Eddie, and people that people's turned their heads around on and um, you put down because maybe they can't speak good or or maybe they can't talk good. I mean, you know, uh, yeah. maybe smell a little bad like I do sometimes <laughs> when I'm at work. I call that revival, brother. <laughs> oh, Lord and mercy. Come on. And we're just looking for people that's going to, willing to come and, uh, and uh, help us in this thing. Amen. We need Sunday school teachers. We need uh, kids. We even need a system pastor. Because, uh, now it's up to them, Brother Eddie, if they want to come or not. But, Amen. Um, we'd like for them to come and be a part of us. And whoever wants to come, we're more than glad to have them. We're not, we're not raceless. When I say we're not raceless, we don't preach doctrine. Come. Any Baptist, Pit, Pentecostal, uh, Church of God, um, any of them, Church of Christ, any of them, if they're born again believers, they are brothers and sisters. I've right had a Church of Christ preacher preach one time. Uh, I hear you. Yeah, we don't, we don't, we ain't got nothing against nobody. We love everybody there. Amen. Just, just let God be God. Amen. Ain't yeah, that, ain't that awesome? We don't even know who's going to preach most time, man. <laughs> hey, where there's liberty, there's where you find God. That's right, and we don't even know who's going to teach Sunday school around there. <laughs> I love it when you just have to stand on the faith and, and the word of God. That's right. I love we, it. We had a business meeting tonight, brother, and the business meeting is let God lead. Amen. Whoever's got a message, let them stand. Whoever's got a message, let them stand. Whoever's got a song, let them stand. Whoever's got a testimony, let them stand. Amen. I got a feeling your church services don't go the traditional hour. <laughs> no, sir. We may get out early, and we may get out about, well, today, what time we got?